Welcome back to my 2020 Crystal Clear Vision series. It's been a while since I put out one of these, but 2020 is a whole year long. So <laughs> I, I just thought of something and um, this is an analogy I'm gonna give you. Um, we've all heard of astigmatism, right? This is um, a condition in the eye, uh, curvature of the lens, which causes blurry vision. So I'm gonna use this analogy and I'm gonna say, Sometimes, if not very often, we all have personal astigmatism. And that's when we don't see ourselves objectively. <laughs> we see ourselves through our own um, distorted lens. And that is through personal beliefs that we hold about ourselves. They can be positive beliefs, they can be negative beliefs, but whatever those beliefs are, it's like looking through a blurry lens. It does, we don't see reality. And I'll give you a really good example. Um, when I was LDS, I had the belief that everything I was doing was right and good because I was following the doctrine of my church. And therefore, because I was doing good things, I was a good person and that meant that I wasn't hurting anybody. Well, let me tell you something. I did hurt people. I did hurt people because of my religion, and I'll give you one very um, potent example of that. When I got married, um, I did as I was told in the church, and I married in the LDS temple. And for those of you who know anything about LDS temple marriages, only people who have a temple recommend, in other words, members who pay their tithing and live uh, worthy, can go to these temple marriages. That meant that my grandparents on my mom's side and everyone on my mom's side of the family who were not LDS were not allowed to attend my wedding. Guess what? I had the belief the whole time, I'm a good person, I'm doing the right thing, I can't possibly be hurting anybody if I'm a good person and doing the right. And because of that personal astigmatism, I was not able to perceive that that was hurtful to my family. In fact, it wasn't until seven or eight years after leaving the church that I finally it finally dawned on me that this was hurtful, especially to my late grandfather. He really wanted to be there for my wedding. And it never even occurred to me until seven or eight years later, not, not even after my marriage. My marriage was in 2000. It was 17 years later. So it was, you know, after I left the church, seven years after that, that it occurred to me that this was actually hurtful. So, um, wow, right? <laughs> Can you believe that our personal astigmatism, in other words, the, the blurry um, lenses through which we view ourselves um, can so obscure our self-concept that we aren't even aware of when we're hurting other people. We're not even, I put a little um, picture at the beginning, the, that meme about, are we the baddies? Sometimes you have realizations in your life where you realize, wow, I've been hurting people all this time, but I wasn't even able to see it. It wasn't even, it, it never crossed my mind as a possibility because of my self image. And the, the beliefs I had about myself wouldn't even allow me to entertain this possibility that I was hurting people. So, um, wow, breakthrough. <laughs> the, and this has kind of happened to me over time where I've realized that sometimes my self-concept protects me as a self-defense mechanism from even perceiving that I'm hurting people because I have a self-concept that I'm a good person. And that means good people don't hurt other people, right? And so, this can be very eye-opening for a lot of us, and hopefully this is a good jumping off point for you guys as we have this quest to get 
real 2020 vision for ourselves. And by vision, I mean understanding, a clear understanding of what's going on in our lives. And so, um, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, enjoy your day.